So welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a look at how to create variables in Jamovi that contain values that are the sum of values contained within other variables or columns within Jamovi. So we'll often do this when we have a questionnaire and we're not necessarily interested in someone's score for an individual item within that questionnaire, but rather we're interested in their total scores based on all of the items within the questionnaire. So for this example, we're going to take a look at the brief fear of negative evaluation scale. Uh, so the first question says, I worry about what other people will think of me even when I know it doesn't make any difference. So a person with a high score on this variable is going to have a high level of fear associated with being judged negatively by other people. On the other hand, question two says, I am unconcerned even if I know people are forming an unfavorable impression of me. So a person with a high score on this item is going to have a low level of fear about being negatively judged by other people. And it's the same thing here with item four. I rarely worry about what kind of impression I am making on someone. So again, high score equals low level of fear. So items two and four go in a certain direction and items one, three and five go in another direction. So in addition to looking at how to create these variables based on the sum of values in other variables, we'll take a look at how to account for these items going in different directions by recoding certain items. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just import the data into Jamovi by going to this bit at the top and then going down to open and then I'll just find the Excel file on my computer. So we can see that we have these five items here and we've got five participants in total. So let's take a quick look at how to do the reverse coding. So item two is one of the items that needs to be recoded. So we'll right click on that and we'll go down to add variable. Then we'll go across to insert under this transformed variable heading. We'll then just give a name to the reverse coded item. So we'll call it item two R for reversed and we'll say that the source variable is item 2 and using this menu here we'll go down to create new transformation and then we'll just go to add recode condition and we'll put a couple of equal symbols here and we'll tell Jamovi that if a person has a score of 1 that's going to become a score of 5 we'll go to add recode condition again a couple of equal symbols here spacebar 2 it's going to become 4 add recode condition equals equals spacebar 3 stays as 3 4 is going to become 2 and finally 5 is going to become 1. So once this looks like this we can just click over here somewhere and that will create this variable here with the transformed values. So we can see that 2 has become 4, 5 has become 1 etc. Then we just need to do the same thing for item 4 but this time it's a little bit quicker. We're just going to go right click at the top down to add a variable, down to insert. Same thing again, just give the variable a name. So let's call it item 4R. Source variable is item 4. And this time we can just select transform 1 here because we just told Jamovi how to do the transformation. So we just select that and we can see that it has automatically transformed those values in the way that we specified previously. So we have 1 equals 5 and and four equals two, etc. So now that we've created those reverse coded items, let's take a look at how to create a variable that contains values that are the sum of values contained within other variables. So to do this, I have a little checklist we can follow. So here's the checklist for reverse coding in case you want to take a screenshot of that to remind yourself how to do it. But here's the short checklist for how to create the variable. So the first thing we're going to do is double click on the top or at the top of any empty column. So I'm going to just double click here and then I'm going to go to new computer to variable and then we can just give the variable a name. So this could be something like sum and then we need to do something like this. So we need to type the word sum in capital letters into a box and then we need to tell Jamovi which items go into this calculation. So I'm going to type a sum here in capital letters, then I'll open brackets, and then if I click this bit here, and I'll just make sure that the cursor is over here, and then I'll double click item one, and that appears there. I put a comma, and then I'm going to choose the reverse coded version of item two, then a comma, item three, comma, reverse coded version of item four, so just double clicking that, comma, finally, item five, double click, 
and then if you close the brackets and then if you click here you should see that you have the total scores here so 21 is just going to be the sum score of the person's responses for all of those five items. One potential issue you may have with this is that this doesn't work if you're missing data. So for example, if I remove uh, this five here from item four, you can see that it doesn't calculate a sum score for this person. So you may want to take a step to account for that. So what you can do is actually just use this little command here. So ignore underscore missing equals one. So if I just copy that, and then we'll go here again. So I'll click on the sum variable and then I'll just put a comma here and then I'll paste that here. And then if I click here, we can see that it has now calculated a sum for this person, even though they were missing data for one of the items. So that's basically it. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, just let me know in a comment and I'll try to get back to you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.